So, hopefully you all read this on the collaboration idea earlier, but the gist of it is that JupyterLab is a relatively new tool um, from the Jupyter Notebook developers, basically providing a web IDE, which looks something like that. So it's a classic kind of IDE with lots of uh, tabs you can drag around and panes you can make and file browsers on the left-hand side and all this kind of thing, which is brilliant. It's the sort of thing you can install on some centrally held infrastructure at university and point your students at it and say, well, okay, start typing some code in this and whatever. But in my experience, if you give someone who's never done programming before, learning Python for the first time, doesn't know any Linux, an interface like this, they are going to get very really confused. They're going to start closing tabs, changing things, breaking stuff, playing around with the menus, and getting distracted from the teaching goals you're trying to make. And so our idea is to take the Jupyter Lab infrastructure behind it, but try and offer a simple interface on top of it. Um, maybe based around the idea of lessons, so you could have an interface which basically just has a whole page with no extra craft around it, i.e. getting rid of the stuff like that, um, of just a Jupyter notebook, and you can go through there and learn some Python stuff, and then at the top of the page there might be a thing they click on which says, go to the next lesson, and the next lesson might be something slightly more complicated. It might have two panes where they've got a Linux terminal <coughs> and a Python uh, text editor on the right-hand side, where they can run some code, run it using the Python command line tool, and learn about how to run Python command line as a sort of iterative process moving towards more and more complex uses of the tool. Eventually, you might get to the point after you've gone through this stage over and over again where they use the full IDE and using all of its features, but they haven't had to learn it all up front, all at once. So, none of us know how JupyterLab works in the background. We've got to learn how that works. Um, it's pretty much written in JavaScript, the front end. There's some Python on the back end for some of the glue, but the front end's all JavaScript. None of us know any JavaScript, so we're going to have to learn that along the way. But um, if there's anyone here who learned those JavaScript or wants to get involved in this, that would be wonderful. Um, there's a couple of parts of this. Firstly, there's the ability to lock down interface based on templates to show certain panes and get rid of UI elements. Then there's the ability to step through lessons, change those templates based on some kind of predefined look for that lesson. And the third part is some kind of back-end tool which is run behind the interface on the actual server, which grabs the files for lesson one, sets up the directory structure for the students for that lesson, and then when they click for the next lesson, it goes away, throws that away, gets the data files and uh, Python files and examples and whatever else for lesson two, and sets the directory structure up all in one place, maybe grabbing from some Git repo which has got the structure for lesson one, lesson two, all in the world. So that's me. Thank you for saying.